Hello everyone. So, obviously, what you see here is our wonderful silicone planet Earth. And with the help of this godly heavenly game, you'll get to do whatever the heck you want to our beautiful own planet and its planet friends and its sun and the other suns and all the black holes and the galaxies you could ever find in the universe. Satisfy all your statistical cravings and experiment as much as you like, feeling as if you were the god. In this game's case, you actually are. So, other than destroying everything and sending comets and uh, turning planets into huge lava pools, what do you get to do in this game? So, we should probably explore, shouldn't we? I'm already curious, although I already checked out the game a little. You must be curious too. Because you get to do anything. Let's find out. Haha, -ha, so, welcome back everyone. I was uh, just checking out the pre-made tutorials and the simulations, and look what I found. This is pretty much self-explanatory. It summarizes the whole game. It's just, it helps you satisfy yourself, your astronomical fetishes, I don't know. And you get to enjoy all the beautiful textures and graphics. And see all those beautifully textured planets crash into each other as such. Wow. See all those flames and lava and the debris. Planet hasn't been touched yet. Oh, now it has. You don't see those city lights anymore, do you? Oh, oh, wow. 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 No words needed for that. Huge molten ball of lava. Looks like the sun. We have like, I don't know, like seven, eight suns now. Pretty cool, eh? Should check out yourself. Would recommend. 10 out of 10. So let's move on, shall we? This one. This one is way better than anything I could ever come up with. So, we can just imagine this one's Milky Way, and the other one's Andromeda. And they're about to crush into each other, which is expected to happen in real life, too. Like, I don't know how long it would take, like a few million years, maybe a few billion. It's starting, it's starting, come on, come on. Let's see what you got, boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, this is the soul of the game. You get what's happening. You get what's what it's all about. It's just about you being the god and doing whatever the fuck you want. Right? So let's watch it for a little more and then move on, right? Those are all little stars. One of them is ours and it's just being spit out. Yeah, let's see some other cool stuff, right? Um, <clears throat> we've got one mediocre solar system in our hands, and we should probably try something new, shall we? What shall we put in? We can put in the largest sun that's oh, um, star that's available, being this one. No. This one's not the biggest. I remember way bigger ones. Let me see. Mm, yeah, that's bigger, but that's not it. That's not it either. Sirius itself was pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty big, but it doesn't do the job. Yeah, now that's badass. See what happens when we just put it in. Between Jupiter and Saturn. The sun starts to go into it right away with all the planets and their orbits are all messed up but they're gonna get stabilized at some point. I hope but I don't think that will happen. No. No. Now the computer is gonna crash. No. No. Don't do that to me. No. Yeah. So what you just encountered was a supernova. It doesn't normally happen like this but yeah. Yeah. Look at all the light. It's so bright because of the size of that sun, or star, whatever. 
Supernovas are quite beautiful, but they lag the computer so hard, so they're not. Pr they're probably not worth your time. But they're just pretty, and they symbolize the death of a beautiful star that once was home to some planets that might have had some life. Nope. They're just clouds. Okay, moving on. Um. <clears throat> so instead of messing around, maybe we should uh, start working on an empty plate and maybe start placing some objects and see how they interact. For example, I want to see how a few planets roam around the gas giant. So let's see what Earth does. Let's stop the time and fix its orbit, auto orbit section, yeah, and maybe put another earth at the other side and see how they interact. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but that's the fun to it, isn't it? Auto orbit. Start it. Do they stay in orbit? They kinda do, maybe? Yeah. It seems to be working. Interestingly enough. Wow, wait, 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 what? Oh, it doesn't work at all. That's something. We see the fireworks at least. Yeah. All that hydrogen burning. Beautiful. So it actually looks like a sun now. Even better. That's what we were trying to do anyway, wasn't it? Maybe um, add some asteroids. I'm not gonna like bother with fixing their orbits. And before all that's done, what we should do is add a star and fix only Jupiter's orbit. Uh, are the Earth's? Yeah, they're just alright. Fix this one's orbit, auto orbit. Yeah, it's gonna roam around Proxima Centauri. And let's start adding some gas giants and see if they change uh, the positioning of the star itself. Um, so I kind of figured out that it could be a better idea to stop messing around for a little bit and try actually doing something reasonable maybe, which is boring, but still, let's give it a try, right? This is what the game is supposed to be for and stuff. Instead, we could just place random balls. That works too, I guess. Um, which one's the biggest falling ball? It's way, way, way too small. It's the actual size of a bowling ball. No, thanks, sir. We're gonna use real planets. Or, we're gonna use real suns to go into orbit of our own sun. That's such a little sun. So we're gonna place this tiny star next to our huge one, which it's still pretty small compared to the actual great suns. Wow. Wow. That shit's cool. That's some real star business there. Our sun will now auto orbit. Like that. And let's see. No, 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 no. Oh, again. I'll be right back. So it turns out um, playing with only suns can be a little messy and create a huge lot of supernovas that's gonna crash your computer. So you better use some planets that are gonna, just gonna burn up around your sun because it's so fucking big because you love them. big mamas. Now starts the hunt for planets that aren't actually worthless and are pieces of shit. Let's see, you're still too hot. You're okay actually, Kepler. What's the temperature here? Ah, uh, it's not okay at all. 
that one. You're not okay at all. Wow. We've got the golden ratio, guys. Huge continents. Some little islands. Yeah, this is pretty much perfect. And we get to add some moons to it, too. Um, too small. You can't use a tennis ball or just some random object. Maybe try Titan. Yeah, that is a big moon. It looks great with small planets when they're combined. Because I really like like it when the moons and the planets have similar sizes. It's like it's like they're competing all the time. And this Titan's actually gonna set Earth. No, not Earth. It looks so similar to Earth. What's his name? Wastaber. Wastaber out of its orbit. Let's see how it works out. Oh, it's so far away from the home. What? Not the home planet, the sun. Or whatever it's called. Sirius. Yeah, Sirius. Yeah, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Come on. Yeah. Now they're dancing. That's some cool dancing there. Great moves there, great moves there, Titan. And all the other planets, they seem to be doing fine. Let's add some more gas giants. So, um, instead of adding some gas giants, I decided to create a whole new solar planet, solar <laughs> system, just for gas giants. And look how beautiful this is turned out. Like, check out all those gas rails. Since they're practically full of hydrogen, it's just burning out into the space, being thrown away. I'd suspect they'd create some rings, but they don't uh, stay in the system for much long. What shall we send, I say? Maybe their older sister? Yeah. Yeah, romantic. Close interactions there. If they survive, now I'm gonna be so surprised. Because it seems like they're surviving for this long. Wow, that, that was close. That is pretty close. But the, you can't see the city lights anymore. Probably all the people are dead. The weather is not changing though. Because when you place, or place like uh, the Earth object in, in the simulation, uh, it, it keeps its temperature and its uh, like sus sustainability levels of atmosphere and such uh, stable for a while. Like... You could survive on this planet without any sun for a while, according to this game. But still, it's amazing, though, sometimes not realistic. Um, unfortunately, they seem to be surviving, so I just need to just launch something. I don't know what to launch. Uranus. I'm gonna launch Uranus into your planet. Because Uranus deserves it. Every anus deserves it. No, I was... okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Once more our Earth has become the sun, as it's supposed to be according to the 16th century people. So, I guess that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and didn't get too much bored, because this game totally deserves all the attention it's getting, and you should probably go buy it and not watch my videos. Instead, just play it yourself. Because I'm having so much fun playing it. It's probably not as fun watching the videos, but I hope it is, so... Whatever. See you later, I guess. In the next video, um... I'm about to... Um... Mess with the other objects that are, like... Human-made. Like these pumpkins and stuff. And maybe try to turn them in suns or black holes. Also, I forgot to, um... Mess around with the black holes. And the galaxies, though I showed one simulation. So I'm going to mess up with those in the next episode. So take care. Goodbye.